Hi y'all, it's Kayla here with TBF Diagnostic. So last video we talked about leveraging other people's money to start your business, right? So let's get further into it. First step, what is the name of your business? Figure that out. You want to Google to make sure you're not using someone else's name. You also could look on, on a government website to search and see if that name is trademarked already, right? So go to USPTO.gov, okay? USPTO.gov. Now, once you establish this is my name, nobody else has it, I'm going to use it, go ahead and register it with your state as an LLC or whatever you want to do, corporation, S corp, whatever. Get your business name down on paper. Now, the next step is to get an EIN number. This EIN number is going to be the social security number for your business. It is going to um, allow tracking with um, loans, business credit lines, leases, and uh, whatnot. So the next thing, if you don't want to operate out of your home, you don't have the money or the, the readiness to um, get a brick and mortar, you want to do a virtual office, okay? There's um, a couple, you'll be so surprised about these virtual offices. It's crazy. Google it, okay? Um, get a business number, not a cell phone. I've used my cell phone as my business number. You're going to get further if you, you have a uh, business number established, okay? So I use Comcast. I use Comcast for mine, okay? Um, then you want to go on Duns and Brad Street, okay? You want to apply for this. This is the... How annoying. Sorry. This is the... Uh, Down the Brad Street is the um, credit bureau for your business, okay? There's also like a business Experian or Equifax business, okay? Like we have our personal uh, credit bureaus. This is the business credit bureau. And it's free, so go sign up. You need your business name and your EIN number and a telephone number. You can use your cell phone number um, to sign up for this website. Now... Boom. Once all that is established, you can get it done in a day or two, okay? Um, you want to apply for five. Yes, I said it. Five. Five net 30 business accounts, okay? Some people say three. Some people say five. Sorry about that. My child calls. <laughs> um, so anyways... We were talking about the uh, net 30 business accounts, okay? So net 30 business accounts it are with um, companies such as Quill.com, Q-U-I-L-L.com, Medline. Um, let's see, who else do I have? I mean, I have um, Uline. So basically what happens, I don't know if you guys out there remember the, was it East Bay? Uh, magazine and there was another one anyways so you were able to order and then pay right um, so this is what it is these companies are allowing you to establish credibility with um, payments and as long as you order from them and you pay them on time they're going to report to Duns and Bradstreet Duns and Bradstreet is your credit bureau for your business they're going to record, just like on your personal credit, they're going to record your payment history. Based off your payment history, that's how they're going to score you. You want at least, at least a paydex score of 80. It's going to take time to get there. So anyways, if you start now, this is going to be very helpful even if you do not have your business ideal up and running you don't have your brick and mortar up and running this is going to help you so that in the next doing this by doing this and uh, making those payments to the um, net 30 accounts and establishing um establishing these uh financial good payments and building this Paydex score is going to allow you to apply for business loans. It'll be so much easier to get business loans. And that's 
what you're going to use to move forward instead of your own funds. Why use your own funds, honey? Why? Keep your personal phones in your pocket. Um, unlike me. But no, I used a whole lot, okay? A lot of my Amazon American Express. Trust me, it has come in handy. I have been able to get any and everything that I want to get for my business. So I am just... This isn't my expertise, but I am giving you guys my experience to hopefully help at least one person, okay? Let it sink in. Watch the video over again. Try to catch up to these informations. Oh, another thing. Apply for uh, two business credit cards. If you can get them, get them, okay? Let me tell you who. Office Max, easy to get. Gas cards more easier to get. Let's talk about which gas cars, Shell and Exxon, Exxon Mobil. Those are the two that I have. There are more out there that you can get. I'm just, like I said, I'm just telling you what I am going through, who I use. Um, there's other um, established credit entities uh, that you can get cards through. Lowe's, um, Amazon, Sam's Club, nav.gov, okay? And Final thing I have for you on this video is to register your business on Experian, okay? Boom. Follow me, don't follow me, okay? This is not my expertise. I'm just giving you guys the goods, okay? Here go a gym. Have a wonderful day.